Hello, welcome to Clash of the Masterminds. I am your host, Osteel, and today we're casting this ZVZ on Moondance. At the bottom right, we have ourselves the Red Zerg. In the mini barcode, it is a D door. And the top left, we have ourselves the Blue Zerg. It's fun size, K. Okay? No fat shaming here, but both Zergs starting off. Playing normal, no early, no early pulls from either player. A D door a little bit further ahead in the drone count compared to our blue Zerg here. Fun size. Don't know what they're doing. They're there's okay, their overlord is just really late for some reason. Don't understand what happened. Maybe he did 15 overlord by accident. But he's a little behind in the drone count. And now a D door is not going to expand. He's doing a macro hatch. <laughs> I was going to say he's going to expand, but then he didn't. He, he stopped this drone right here. I'm like, what? What? So, macro hatch, guess, and then I'm guessing pool. Our opponent over here playing as standard as balls and expanding right off the bat. A D door is like, nah, we don't expand. Where we're going, we don't expand. And we have ourselves a spawning pool now. This build is my shit, is what a D door just said. Let's see how it how you execute it. Standard play from fun size. Okay. And the overlord's gonna come over here from sun size, and he's trying to avoid uh, like detection or easy detection. He wants to see if his opponent is gonna expand too. If he had, if uh a D door was going for early pool, he would have seen the lings by now. But he doesn't. He, ha he hasn't seen it yet. And he's going to come on in over here. He's going to see this pool. And uh, not pools. He's going to see this hatchery and feel like, okay, early pool build. But he's not going to know what's coming because he's got a map. His opponent, D door, has got a macro hatch. Fun size has no idea what he's up against. And generally, it, um, macro hatches are ling rush builds. You just deal with mass massive amounts of zerglings. They're cheap. And they're fast and you can get a whole lot of them because they come in pairs just like socks and buzz lightyear anyway fun size case made a few zerglings made six initial zerglings usually the zergs like to send them across the map early on to uh, do some poking and prodding and hoping to kill a queen here and there and now Dedor is getting himself a evo chamber so we have ourselves a um a plus one build now it's gonna be a, a preference of whether he goes melee or uh, carapace carapace is ideal because you don't have to deal with the bailings as much you get a little bit of leeway you get to uh take a hit here and there and fun size is going for banelings so this is where our builds have deviated but by quite a bit they have deviated by quite a bit in this game um we do have some drones coming on in and well, the D-Door is going to go ahead and start massing lings now. And our opponent over here, he's just having fun droning. He wants to hold the two mains and four zerglings. They are making quite a lot of queens, though. They are getting a fourth queen right now. And uh, a D-Door coming on in over here with the four lings. He's going to see the banelings and queens right now. But the banelings are not going to react because there's no reason to. It's four lings. But here we go. We have more lings coming on in. And the lings are going to run past all the queens. And they're going into the main, but then they run back. <laughs> and they're going to get a drone kill here and there. Oh, they get a drone kill. Not a whole lot of the uh, stuff has been done by D-Door. Not a whole lot of uh, damage. And it's really unfortunate. But now we have a Roachhorn coming in from a D-Door. And Carapace is his choice. Um, Fun Size is going to go ahead and get himself a third base. They did evacuate their natural. So all the drones are up here. And uh, Fun Size is going to get their own Roach Horn while getting their third. They did do... Oh, no. They canceled the last Evo. They're doing, like, a, a half wall. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's definitely something you would want to do at this point. When you're dealing with a Zerg that's generally going to mass Lings. And now a D-Door is going to go on and send the Lings back across the map. If a D-Door is aware of what his opponent is doing. And that uh, there's a Roach Horn. Which he doesn't. He doesn't know he hasn't been back in the main base in a while. Um... If he knew that he was up against Roaches, I think that they would be massing a lot more links and try to do more damage or trying to tech up to get something against uh, 
against the roaches. Because roaches are annoying. You need a lot of lings to kill, you know, big blob of roaches. And it's ideal if you have some form of AoE. Adidor is not getting himself a third, but is getting a Bane Nest and cancel the Roach Warren, actually. So, nicely done by Adidor. He showed the Roach Warren to his opponent, making him think, okay, I'm going Roaches, but he doesn't know. The uh, fun size made the Roach Warren because he scouted. Okay, actually, Adidor did put that to third base. Both players are going layer tech. Fun size is behind in the tech tree, though, because Adidor's uh, layer is nearly complete. And I'm think I'm thinking Mutas. I'm thinking Mutas in this game. Mutaling Bane. Not a bad comp to go uh go with. Not a bad choice, in my opinion. Even if you're up against roaches, just means you have to have a lot of ground to stall the roaches while you're killing them. Or you just do base race scenarios where you just trade bases and hope for the best. Ro uh, Lings do come on in from a D door. He did sneak on past. He's gonna do some nice damage to fun size. So this is the economy and kills the queen. Uh, unfortunately, these lings are kind of derping out in the little pocket over here, the spawning pool, and they do get cleaned up by the queens. Roaches, bleh, sorry, roach production is starting for uh, fun size, and actually, hydralis or uh, the hydralis den has been placed down for a detour. So I'm guessing lurkers then. Lurkers with plus one missile on the way, and uh, fun size is going for roach hydra. But they don't even have enough gas yet. They are just now getting their third and fourth gas. So there's a lot of roaches for them though. So Sun Size, if he were to go across the map right now, he could actually kill a Dedor. Because a Dedor's only got a handful of lings and uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of larva. If we look right now, five larva for a Dedor, five for Fun Size. They both are really low in larva. They've been spending it and injecting as often as they can. Um, but yeah, they're really they're both really low. Lots of Overlord, the Overlord uh, run by coming on in from Fun Size. He's going to spot this third base and possibly do lots and lots of damage. Oh, wait, no, they don't do shit. But that's a lot of Overlords. That's a nice a nice pack of Overlords flying across the map. And Adidor is going to come on in and, and deny the fourth base for Fun Size. Fun Size not too happy about being denied that fourth base. He really wants to spread that creep to that fourth and secure it with the Roaches and Banes. Um, but he's going to have to wait for the creep to spread. And we have an Overseer morphing on in over here. Oh, actually, the Overlords have moved on in. They're going to see this base. And they might even... Uh, Fun Size might even assume that this is a D-Door's fourth base. Oh, excellent for D-Door. One Bane didn't even kill two lanes. Uh, I was hoping that he was going to get another one. Hydras are coming on in, and this is a really nice find for the Hydras. They're going to get... A nice pick, and uh, fun size is gonna be supply blocked. And now we have more links coming on in, and a D door. He's not gonna be able to find any real damage to do. And in fact, this is very scary for a D door because he does not have a whole lot to deal with the road hydra count at the moment. The links are gonna come on in, and they're gonna find another queen. They're gonna pick this queen off. Are they gonna do anything more than that? Are they gonna get some drone kills? Hopefully. And uh, Adidor might get, he's going to get one drone. And looks like Fun Size has forgotten about the two lings. But the Hydras did come on into the third and they did, or fourth and they did get kicked off. But these two lings are doing terrible, terrible damage to the economy. They're cleaning up house. So many drones are dying to these lings. And they're going to get not even picked off still. They are still doing lots of damage. The Roaches are forced to come back to deal with the two lings. And... That is actually a lot of damage from just two Zerglings. We do have a lot of Spine Crawlers now for Dedor. I didn't see if you put a, uh, uh, what you call it? A, hi, no, there's no Lurker Den yet. I'm surprised. No Lurker Den? This is, uh, this is Fun Size's fourth base. A Dedor is behind a base now. He's also behind in Workers by, uh, by quite a bit. By 20 Workers. We gotta get uh, we gotta get our worker count up, Adidor, because uh, this is getting scarier and scarier for you. Oh, the lurker den actually lurker den's down for fun size. Fun size is gonna be, Tuni's gonna be, uh, he's gonna have a really really uh, 
really really scary army for a D-Door here real soon. I was actually hoping that Fun Size was going to accidentally kill one of his own queens. That would have been funny. Always looking out for those kind of moves. But we do have more links on the way. Oops. Just kidding. There we go. We do have more links on the way for uh, a D-Door going to the north and scouting. The, um, they're going to hit this base. The army does move out of position just right now. And uh, this could be the opportunity that D-Door needs to snipe a base. He is behind by 31 supply against uh fun size here come the lings they're gonna go in they're gonna find four queens they might get all four queens before having to retreat the roach hydra is coming on in that's one queen and unfortunately they only get one queen in this scenario the roaches uh, sorry the lings and the hydras have to retreat there's really nothing that they can do roach hydra lurker is now revealed and uh adidor is in a really bad spot right now in this position he's getting more spine crawlers more static defense to try to that's a lot of spine crawlers, actually. A lot of the spiny boys defending. And uh, Adido is actually saying, I don't want this base. This is my last resort base. It's kind of like having a, a savings account right here. There's not a whole lot here, but it's there in case of emergencies. Whereas fix, uh, Fun Size has uh, dipped into his savings, the, the super sizes McDonald's meal. And uh, whenever it comes down to... The nitty gritty, he's not gonna have that savings if he needs a safe base to take. If the game gets up that far, uh, gets that far. We have lots of spine crawlers though for uh, for a D door. Lots of spiny boys, and nice, nice. Did the uh, I forgot what the ability is called, but it's the uh, corruption ability from overseers, where you can stall the production or upgrades of a structure. Uh, they used to cost less energy back in the day. I was telling Cassidy about this yesterday. That back in ZVZ days, Zergs would rush layer, and whoever got the layer first, they would immediately make two overseers. And as soon as they could, they would use that corruption ability on the high the hatcheries to delay larva production. And it was so annoying, but it was also so fun to deal with. It, made, it added a lot more to the matchup, a lot more uh, mechanics. And now, uh, ever since they increased the uh, energy con uh, cost for it, it's you don't see it as often anymore. We have war lurkers on the way. A lot of lurkers now for fun size. And I don't know how a D-Door is going to come back from this. Both players are making lurkers. Um... A D-Door is going to have to do a lot to come back from this. The, he is down 70 supply. If Fun Size gives the D-Door enough time, then, yeah, he can come back and win this. Uh, in fact, this is kind of crazy, but um, Fun Size is on Hive. Oh, they're both on Hive. But Fun Size is getting his, uh, what is this upgrade again? I think that's, yeah, that's increased range. I forgot what it's called, but basically increases range of Lurkers from 8 to 10. And uh, actually, we have ourselves a Doom Drop coming on in from a D-Door. And uh, this is actually going to be huge. This could be the move that Adidor needs to make in order to come back from this game. But at the same time, Fun Size is moving across the map. And uh, but, uh, Adidor is going to see this. He sees it on the edge of his creep. And his army needs to reposition itself over here to defend this base. But Fun Size doesn't know this Doom Trap is coming. But they're both going to see... They're actually passing by the same exact bases, just on the opposite sides of the map. And here we go. Fun Size... Trying to come on into the fourth base of a D-Door. A D-Door is going to have to evacuate or get himself into position. He's not in position yet. But at the same time, the Doom Drop for D-Door is going down, doing terrible, terrible damage. They are both doing terrible, terrible damage to each other. Lurkers are burrowed, and they're doing lots of damage to the hatchery and forcing a D-Door to retreat, and he loses four workers. But at the same time, a D-Door's uh, Lurkers are burrowed at the poke of the ramp into the main and the hydras are cleaning house and uh fun size is retreating he's like no i don't want to lose my shit but it's kind of too late your main is forfeit all your tech is forfeit you have to start over and now these lurkers over here are gonna uh melt all these roaches and hydras oh my god they're going up the choke and everything is just getting blended or blended sorry not blended blended is kind of stupid Sorry. Uh, everything's getting blended. 
And, uh, yeah, the high ground for a detour is what he really needs in order to, to clean house. And fun size to supply has dropped immensely to the point where a detour is now in the lead. This hive, though, is still here. Don't know how he managed to do that. Call it a meat grinder? Nah. And there's the meat grinder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, meat grinder is why I, I didn't want to say. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say it necessarily, but we, it, that is, that was the meat grinder. I was trying to think of something else to say, but they did get blended. They did make a hydralis sl uh, slushy. <laughs> and now, fun size is down two bases. He can't mine from this base. Lurkers and hydras maintain the high ground, and the ramp is secured by the lurkers and fun size he can't do anything about this he's lost all of his tech he does actually still have a and he remade that he managed to save that but he has lost his his lurker then he's rebuilding it and this this base is going to go down the lurkers do have the range to take it out and there it goes but now here we go lurkers coming on down going into the pocket base and uh they're actually going to get cleaned up fairly quickly because lurkers as good as they are you need a, a nice pack of them but uh, Adidor is, he did make the comeback that he needed. He was behind by 70 supply and then in one move jumped up in supply. Uh, he ended up being like, what, 10 or 20 supply ahead of his, of his opponent. And uh, yeah, that drop was definitely the winning move there. The game's not over, but it's looking very grim for our Zerg opponent, fun size. He's having to rebuild all of his tech. Adidor on the other side of the map though. He lost all the workers here. Just kidding, he lost four. He did evacuate though. Oh, actually here comes the Ling run by and this base does get denied. Lings do find, oh, they, I was gonna say they did find damage to do. And uh, there's more Hydras coming on in from fun size. The Lings do get cleaned up. At least half the Lings do get cleaned up and the base is replanted. And uh, fun size, he doesn't have that trusty trust fund that he really would need right now. He's got 20 something workers on, 23 workers over there. And it's heavily oversaturated. Severely oversaturated. And uh, yeah. Got a big old blob of hydras from a D door. And he could just steamroll fun size now. There's um, not a whole lot left for fun size. The resistance. Is dead. Hive is being restarted for fun size and he's getting a spire. I don't know what fun size is planning. He's getting all the tech but has no the none of the gas. And the D door is just taking the map entirely. He's just expanding. He's doing like a triple expand right now. He might not have an insane drone count, but he sure as hell will have an insane larva count. Both players' banks are depleted, but a D door completely ignoring the savings account, the trusty savings account. It's still there if he ever wants to take it. My uh, Hydra Bane now and, and Queens. He did bring the Queens with them. Hydra Bane Queen on the way, pushing forward, and they're going to make excellent connections on all these Hydras and Lurkers. And there, that's it. That's all she wrote. GG, well played. A D door takes the game. My God, there's so many dead hydras everywhere. It was actually quite insane. Hope you guys enjoyed that replay cast. If you would like to submit your replays, you can submit them to me at soulreplays at gmail.com. That is S E O U L replays at gmail.com. Or you can join my Discord it's in the description down below and you can submit it to the StarCraft 2 stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video just now. If you wouldn't mind clicking that like, subscribe, and the bell notification down below, really appreciate it. Also, be sure to follow me on my Twitter and Twitch.